Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. There she is. Good morning, Mira. Hi. Good morning. I've missed my morning stick calls. Can I have one? Oh. Is it necessary to have coffee every morning? Um, Are you one of those coffee people that need it? Uh, yeah, you mean a, a civilized... <laughs> <laughs> I guess I get... Actualized person, yeah. I get a lot of comments about never drinking coffee. Yeah, I, I know people that don't. But you don't trust them. No, yeah, most of them need serious help. <laughs> Keeps my hands warm. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. How about you, Mira? Oh, you're having a stick for breakfast. Just waiting for somebody to throw that stick, aren't you? <laughs> you're hilarious. My hands are frozen packing this bag. That white stuff is frost. Yikes. Is this the stick you want? Is this the one you want? This is a great way to warm up in the morning. Thank you for the exercise. Boo! Thank you, flat piece of uh, frozen ground. Time to go. I'm chasing the sun. John, you look ready to go. Are you, yeah, are you waiting for me or something? <laughs> Am I slowing down the show? <laughs> Your Canadian blood is used to this cold. Man. Yeah, we're, we're tough people. Yeah, you're tough people. You know who the toughest is, though, is this oh one right here. You're the toughest. Are you ready to go ride bikes? Are you ready to go? Yeah. You make cold mornings warmer. Sure does. Oh, there's the sweetie. Here we go. No flatties. Crash. No crashies, no whammies. Anything else? Yeah, I think those those are three solid things to to ward off here today. Here there she goes. She's free. Let's go. Let's go. Mira sees cows. Mira wants to herd these cows so bad, it's in her blood. Yeah, okay, Gina. You know, there's a lot to learn from Mira. She doesn't complain about cold or heat or wind, and she wakes up every day just psyched, bouncing around for a new day. So, I am, I'm gonna try to be more like Mira. Remember those Michael Jordan commercials, Be Like Mike? Be like Mira. Be so psyched about every day that people think you're insane. <laughs> so I stopped here because I saw a refrigerator and I want to show you what's inside. Bottles of water. Check that out. So I'm guessing this is here for ranchers, travelers going by. Maybe it's a little trail magic station because, you know, locals know that water is hard to come by. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for opening the gate, John. There's lots of gates like this all around the place. You gotta open them and close them so the cattle don't get out. And everybody kind of just does it on the honor system. And that's how the Wild West works. All about being polite. Yeah. We are definitely in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we have not seen a human in a long time, which is fun. 
We are out here. Okay, it's time for a little mid-morning stick toss. Go! Can I have that stick, please? Oh, can I, can I please have that stick? Can I please give the stick to me? Oh. <laughs> I've missed your games. <laughs> You're too fast for me. Mira got a thorn in her paw. Daddy's gonna fix it. Oh, look at that, little goat head. Here. There, all better, all better. <laughs> All better, buddy. So we came from way over there, and we're just gonna keep on heading that way. Primitive road, use at your own risk. Are you intimidated, John? Not at all, it's way better than what we've been riding on. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mira? You've been getting lots of stickers today in your, your paw, you okay? You are so sweet. You are so sweet. Who needs an energy bar when you can stop and pet a sweet dog? That just refills, refills your soul. When you're in the desert, you have to be really mindful about water. And sometimes you're filling up in cattle tanks. And right now we just found a little gas station off the side of the road. And yes, they have water. So I got water, Mira got raw water. What did John get? Razzleberry. How's it taste? I mean, it tastes like razzleberry. <laughs> Do you have razzleberries in Canada? Of course, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> They, they, they grow like they grow like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes you just can't avoid but get on a busy road. We're gonna be on a highway now for 14 miles to a town called Fredonia. I just saw a sign back there that says we are 89 miles from the north rim of the Grand Canyon, which is pretty cool. I just love this canyon country, the Wild West. And boy, when you're out there riding on dirt roads, not having to deal with traffic at high speeds, you realize how, how nice that is. Because once you hit one of these roads, even though there's not really all that much traffic on this road, when they come flying by, whew, it's spooky. When you're in Fredonia, you gotta get a world famous gas station burrito. It's actually not world famous at all, but uh, all burritos to me are world famous. Oh man, you got the bomb? I did get the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a bomb. <laughs> we will find out tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs> or somewhere between now and then. <laughs> and a 50 cent fountain drink. That's impressive. <laughs> it's a bucket. It is a bucket. So you can get a lot done in the parking lot of a gas station. John is currently on the phone here buying backcountry permits 
for the Navajo Nation. And those are necessary uh, to camp. And so we're buying those online. They're emailing us the permits. We're excited about that. If you don't have the permits, you can't do it. So uh, he's getting that taken care of and then we're gonna be on our way. We'll be on Navajo land probably at some point tomorrow. Mira, Mira, thank you for the Mira hug. We're just getting stuff done here. How you doing, John? I'm pretty good, but so when I'm traveling around, I'm like, oh, Mira, don't jump up, don't jump up. And, uh, and I've told them, I said, I have this good friend and he encourages it. <laughs> and so here we are, proof positive on video that Ryan is not helping me with my dog training. <laughs> I'm the bad uncle, it's okay. Uncles are supposed to let their kids get away with stuff, John. <laughs> Goodbye, Fredonia. Thank you for the hospitality. We're on our way. Well, we found our dirt and it has just made a huge difference in just our sense of joy. That 15 mile road section was just stressful. It's no fun to have huge trucks flying by you. This is what I love about hitting dirt. It's beautiful, it's quiet, it's safe, and just fun. Dirt is more fun, period. Another great thing about being on dirt roads out in the back country is it's way easier to find places to camp. When you're on a road, it's hard to find places to camp because a lot of times roads are lined with private property and fences and you know, out here you can camp wherever you want. <laughs> Is this our camp spot for the night? This looks pretty good. Blocks, this camp right behind this tree blocks the wind. Good day, my friend. Do, do, do. High, five. <laughs> High five. So John, before we set up for camp, my viewers love bike gear and stuff. Tell us about your bike. Okay, so this bike is very similar to the Salsa Black Bro that I had before. Um, it's a mid-tail fat bike. So it's a little bit longer. That space is basically between the seat tube and the, and the wheel. So about uh, eight inches longer, more or less. Uh, this one has some uh, major differences over the other bike. I have uh, a Ren suspension fork up front, which is great. Um, still have the dyno hub so I can power batteries in there. Um, titanium frame instead of aluminum, which is great. I've retained the Salsa Black Burrow rack, which has been terrific for the basket for Mira. Uh, a lot of the other things have stayed the same, bars and whatnot. One of the major changes and an improvement that I love is the pinion and gate system. Um, maintenance is very low, mud isn't an issue, uh, shifting without pedaling, which you think no one really knows about that until you are able to do it. It makes a huge difference when the terrain is undulating. You can just turn into the right gear going over and then back up steep ones. That's been great. Has that 600% ratio treated you well? It has. I have maximum stump pulling ability going up the hills. You saw yesterday on that loose gravel with a heavily laden bike, I can still climb and, and with Mira, she's 40 pounds. And yet I have the range to go pretty fast and, and take advantage of tailwinds or, or, or downhills. So it's, it's been great. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a bunch more than even the SRAM one by system that I had before. And I don't have a derailleur hanging out there ready to get knocked off. It's been great. Um, everything else is, is very similar. Um, you know, a few little bling points that, you know, I have pedals that match the, the gate, the, the, the pinion gearbox, you know, those kind of things. It's, um, yeah, it's been a great ride. What about them tires? Oh yeah, so here's the cool thing. Uh, got some Maxxis tires on here. Right now, these are 27.5 by 2.8. This bike can take 
a fat bike wheel so it has that wide spacing so I can go up to a five inch tire there so I have good quality rubber and, and it takes all, all stuff snow mud asphalt snow I said already <laughs> <laughs> this John wash up time? It is John wash up time. Get the salt and the grime off. Your skin just breathes so much better. You're warmer in the tent. Healthier, feel better. Doesn't take a lot of water. I mean, that's, that bottle was full and that's all I've used for my entire body. But yeah, not bad. Just a little mitt, a little water. Sometimes put on some uh, tea tree oil in there. And you smell like roses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> desert roses. How much food do you give her at the end of the day? You know, I don't actually measure it other than with my hand. So basically three big scoops heaping with my, with my hand. So it's, it's probably somewhere close to two cups. Um, and that's morning and night. And then if she, if we've done a lot of riding, I know she's losing weight or energy levels, then she gets more and she gets treats and cheese. She loves cheese. So. This is a really beautiful spot. We have views of these cliffs way off in the distance. It's pretty warm right now, although it's gonna change, I'm sure, and get really cold. But right now, the temperature is perfect. We had a wonderful day of riding. And uh, I'm in my groove. I'm with my people. I'm with, you know, nature and everything that I love so much in life. Bikes, nature, burritos, mirrors, and Johns. <laughs> So it's just after 5 p.m. The sun is already getting ready to set. It is winter time. So it's not like the summer when we were on the Great Divide a couple years ago. We can't ride late into the evening. We gotta be starting to set up camp around 4.15. Um, so yeah, these days are a bit shorter. Okay, good night, you two. Good night, Ryan. Good night, Mira. Are you sure you don't wanna sleep with Uncle Ryan, huh? Yeah, you want to come with me. Come here. Yeah, keep coming. Yep, keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> Sorry, John. She's mine. Bye. <laughs>